Hello YouTube, Renee here, and well, this is the finished product video. Um, this is uh, the my uh, Wellington uh, cha-cha pipes that uh, you saw in the previous video that I was um, fixing up. This is what they ended up looking like. Um, of course, as always, I'm not a professional, so this is just, you know, basically something for me, I'm not going to sell these pipes, so, you know, it's uh, just a um, moderate restoration. I mean, it, it's a uh, it's full cleanup, and uh, these, believe me, these pipes were very dirty. But, um, you know, as you saw in my setup, it's a very simple setup, so, you know, what I use is very crude. I don't, you know, I'm not a professional, so I don't use special tools or anything like that, and I, I don't know how to use them anyway, so it wouldn't matter. So anyway, let me get started. The uh, first one is, this is the first um, Wellington pipe that um, I purchased and uh, the, as you can see the stem actually came out pretty cool. I have not waxed these at all, I haven't waxed the stem, the bit, and I haven't waxed the, the bowl either. The bowl is just, um, I just buffed it out with uh, Tripoli compound and the uh, stem I just used the white diamond compound and then I used some uh, silver uh, cleaner for the for the band just to get rid of the tarnish that's the first one and then comes the cha-cha pipe now this one was a, a bit harder I'm glad I actually bought that um, the, the coil uh, cleaner instead of the, the long church warden ones. I don't think those would have helped me out that much, but this is the cha-cha one. As you can see, the the bit actually came out pretty good. I was able to get all the, what do you call it? The, um, oh God, I, the uh, brown residue on it. What, what do you call that? Well, anyway, whatever it's called. I know what it is, but I just can't remember it right now. So I was able to get all of it off, and it's actually a very, very nice bit. The bowl itself, I um, want to quickly tell you about it. I guess this pipe had been um, mainly just used decoratively, I think, maybe. And what they did was to um, make the bowl look nice, I guess, or black. I think they just dyed it with regular shoe polish or something like that because uh, I know that when I first, when I started cleaning it, the, my fingers turned black instantly and I mean the water, uh, that uh, when I rinsed it off, uh, it turned black instantly. So they used some sort of um, dye on it that it just, it wasn't taken very well. So I did not buff, I actually did not buff this at all. Uh, as you can see, it's got a little bit of shine on it and I'll tell you what I used on this just on the uh, on the bowl itself I used this product Murphy's oil soap um, it cleans and shines and that's what I use on it that's what I've always used on all my pipes for the most part um, now before I go any further let me just say again I'm um, not a professional, and uh, this is not, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe this is not the right product to use, but it, I've always used it, you know, uh, for years I've used it, and it's never given me any problems, so just going to say that. Uh, I'm not saying this is what you should use, I'm saying this is what I use, and I have no problems with it. Um, about the only thing that I can say about it that might be you know, be off-putting to some people is that this particular one uh, that I have here, uh, it's got an orange smell to it, so your pipes smell like orange for a few days, and then it goes away. Uh, but as you can see, just using that on a, on a little Q-tip and then just, you know, cleaning, you know, until the Q-tip, you know, basically comes out clean, this is what it does. It just gives it a nice little, you know, pretty nice little shine, and, you know, it gets rid of the grime and the dirt that's on it, and in this case, it got rid of the dye that, you know, I don't know, people used on there. Um, second, I mean, third, 
is my other Wellington. This is the first one that I bought on the set of two that I got. This is the one with a nice rustication on it, nice pattern on it. Um, again, I did not wax this. I just buffed it with the Tripoli and cleaned it, you know, cleaned it out. Uh, this is the one with the broken band, as you can uh, see right there. It's still broken, but, you know, I don't know the, the band cleaned out very nicely and so did the bit. I believe this one is the one that um, I had um, previously thought that the bit was cracked on here, and it turns out it wasn't. Again, like I was, you know, thinking it, it, it had it, it wasn't, it was just grime and it just came off, you know, instantly, so I was pretty happy with that. I don't know if I mentioned that in the in the previous video, but just in case I, if I, if I didn't, now I did. So, this is the pipe itself. And last but not least was the one that I was really afraid of. Uh, this is the one where I really did um, a uh, restoration work, if you will, on this pipe. This was the one that was burnt, uh, that had the uh, burn right here. It was going down this way. It had actually eaten away at the, um, at the finish and everything. And I thought it was a, a burnout. I thought it was the beginning of the burnout. But I figured, you know what, I'll go for broke. I, you know, I, I figured for the price that I paid for the pipe, the bit that I got, you know, which is an original one, um, is well worth it, just the money itself, you know, it's well worth it for the bit. So I figured I'll go for broke on the, on the bowl and I'll just do a full restoration. What I did was I started, I sanded down just to see how bad it was, and as as, it, as I sanded it down, it turns out that, you know, it it didn't, there was no burnout or anything, at least not that it went right through the grain or anything like that. So, you know, what I did was I kept on, just I sanded it all completely, and um, once I did that, I mean, I don't have any dye or anything like that, and I wouldn't know how to use it anyway, so what I did was I just basically cleaned it, and then I just buffed out the original, um, the original part of the original stain that was still there. The finish was gone, but the, I guess some of the stain was still there, and you know the natural wood uh, coloring. And so I just you know buffed that out with Tripoli. And this one I did do a little bit of waxing on it just to bring it out a little bit more. And here you have it. This is the uh, this is the finished product. As you can see, it turns out it was not a burnout. I believe what happened was the pipe was just burned somehow on the outside right here it just burned and that's why it blew out the uh, it burst out the uh, the finish this way you know if you can remember what it looked like uh, that's this is the original pipe this is the same pipe um, so there you have it guys um, those are my pipes that was my restoration um, the uh, the cleanup itself was um, On these pipes, you know, these are, um, in case you guys don't know about Wellington pipes, these are system pipes. Um, they employ the same um, system that the um, Petersons have, which is basically you have the bore hole here, and then you have the draft hole that goes in through there. But down this way, like about right there, there's another chamber that gets, uh, you know, it gets drilled out. It's just a little, little chamber here that as the airflow passes by it swirls in here and it collects the moisture before it goes out onto the uh, onto the bit and into your mouth as you draw in the smoke the smoke goes in and then it swirls here in the little pocket and then it shoots up and of course they have the same Peterson P-Lip P-Lip has the little draft hole on top geared to blow the smoke up onto the roof of your mouth instead of on your tongue, thus effectively eliminating tongue bite. At least that's what they say, and that's why, that's from what I know, that's the Peterson system, and uh, these pipes employ the same system. I don't believe you'll be able to see in there. No, you won't. But these pipes employ that same system. So. A little bit harder to clean. Uh, you have to really, really uh, use a lot of materials to clean them. 
I know I had. Uh, but, you know, um, yeah. It was a little bit of a project, but I enjoyed it. And it was a lot of fun. Um, and as far as, uh, you know, me selling them or anything like that, I don't think I'm going to sell these. I think I'm going to keep them because I like them. I love the way they look and the way they came out is great. So, I don't know. You know, I think I have myself, a, you know, three nice Wellingtons and a, a really cool cha-cha pipe. I think I'm going to smoke this one first, you know, to see what it's like. Uh, That's a very interesting pipe. All right, guys. Thank you as always for watching. Compadres, comadres, vayan con Dios.